Welcome back, fellow beginners. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, look, today we're going to be talking about primarily how to join a tournament online or I guess in person as well as a new player specifically. And I'm going to show you how easy it is. And we're going to talk about a few things that are pretty beneficial after joining these online tournaments, specifically the things that you're able to do to continue learning as you keep joining these online tournaments. Uh, it's going to be pretty straightforward and pretty easy, but I just wanted to talk to you guys about this topic since it is not something that I would have known without tons of research. So I just want to put it all in one nice, cohesive little video for you. And with that, I'm going to show you one of the more commonly used websites, and that's going to be start.gg. Start.gg has been the website that I use whenever joining any of the online tournaments that I've joined so far, uh, as well as a couple of different discords. Uh, I will have all of the discords that I use linked inside of my discord. So you can go join my discord using the description down below. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to show you how this website functions and how to navigate it. That way you can kind of find tournaments that are more what you're looking for rather than just specifically the links that I put in my discord. Primarily the games that those discords run are Grand Blue, Street Fighter and Guilty Gear, as you can imagine being a Guilty Gear nerd myself. So first off, I want to talk about how easy this website is and kind of how janky it is, honestly. So first off, what you can do is you can go to find events. Imagine that you're able to select which game you want to join a tournament for. So since I'm a Guilty Gear player. I'm going to use that as an example. I always just hit the tournaments button. So it gives us a list view and then you can scroll through all these. But what I'll normally like to do is I will set up this filter right here for upcoming open free and then I'll do online. You can do in person has shop, etc. Uh, these are just the filters that I tend to use the most commonly. And you're able to scroll through these and find one of the tournaments that you want to join. And that brings me to one of the ones that I highly recommend is joining the Geekly Academy. Uh, I'm going to show you guys his. Here's the Geek's socials. The Geekly is a weekly tournament and Academy is usually for like uh, newer players. Typically, there's a bunch of rules that you can read here. So definitely make sure that you read the rules of all of the tournaments in depth and make sure that it's something that you're able to even join in the first place. One thing to keep in mind is that this tournament is for the ELO of around 1500 or less. And you're able to use that on Puddle Farm. I hear you asking me, what the heck is Puddle Farm? Good question. Let me show you. So Puddle Farm, you can use to search your very unique username. Like mine is Knight. I'll hit exact and then I'll hit search. And because my name is so unique, it is only going to... Okay, so there's a bunch of knights, all right? Um, I don't have that unique of a name, but that's exactly the issue typically with these tournaments is that when you are signing up for the tournaments, they're gonna use Puddle Farm. And if you have a super unique name, such as myself, the refs aren't gonna know who you are, right? They're just not gonna know. There's 50,000 of these guys. And if you're this guy, you are 1623, which means that you can't even join the tournament, right? And there's a couple of those guys that are floating around in that same range, 1662. Make the tournament organizer's life easier find yourself and bookmark your profile specifically on this website. So I know that my name is Knight uh, and I know that my rating for sin is 772. That's not super high, but I definitely fit within that ELO range that they're looking for within that tournament. And what you can do to easily find yourself on these websites is search the name the exact name or you can change it to something super unique like i tested out looking for red dinosaur and when i hit search there's nobody named red dinosaur so what you're able to do is change your name in strive whatever your username is in strive whatever it shows up as you can change it to something that is unique find the account and then change it back to your normal name uh, that way you have the link ready uh, i'm pretty sure that's how it works also for anybody who knows how puddle farm works better than i do like how the the variance works and what have you uh please let me know i'm very curious about that information so once you have your profile on puddle farm found you can keep this open on a different screen while you're going through the tower and you can watch your rating go up and down and stress yourself out a ton or you can do what i do and just forget that it exists for a little while and come back and just you can use it to check to see where you are in your rank up window so you can see that i almost ranked up right here i went 5-1 and if i had won this match here i would have ranked up because in tower for guilty gear strive it's based on your last six games so if you just do well within six games it will try to rank you up it's it's a pretty easy system um but that's why a lot of people don't enjoy it specifically for ranked it's definitely a much more casual ranking system rather than something like street fighter and that's kind of what i was mentioning in my first video that i made talking about
about this stuff. So anyways, make the tournament organizer's life easier uh, when you're signing up, have this stuff ready. Also, you are going to need to join their Discord, which is almost always provided in all of these tournament postings on this website. This is one of the rule sets that I'd say you definitely need to read more in depth, especially because you'll notice it says be in the Discord with the student role. So if you do not have the student role, even though you've joined the Discord, you still cannot join this tournament. Make sure that you read the rules of all of the tournaments that you attempt to join in depth. And you're also showing up early to the tournament and ready for your matches because you do have to check in before the tournament starts and you have to check in with your opponent before your match starts. All of that stuff will be communicated throughout this website. So when you are about to start your tournament, make sure that you have this website open. There's a little box at the bottom here that will change depending on if you need to check in for your match or for the game. So just pay attention to that while you're on the website. So when you are ready to join the tournament, you can scroll down, find the actual event happening, hit join now. And you'll notice specifically that this tournament is free. You don't have to worry about paying anything to participate in this tournament, which I think that's really great. There's a lot of free tournaments, but there's also some paid tournaments. So if you're as you're getting better, if you want to try to make some money, you can do that on this website. So you just need to go through these sections and make sure that you fill in the correct information. It'll check to see that you've joined the Discord. It'll verify your name. It says that I haven't joined, but then it has a check mark. That's whatever. Fill in your first and last name. This information only goes to the tournament organizers and they'll only use it for tournament related issues. So if you're uncomfortable with that, I'm sorry to say this is required for most of the tournaments. It has been part of every single tournament that I've been part of. And finally, this is where I recommend having your Puddle Farm link ready. So typically what I'll do, because my name is so unique, I'll put Knight and then I'll copy and paste my Puddle Farm link into this same section. And once you finished, uh, there's one more section here for this specific tournament, and it's just making sure that you have the role in Discord for student. And it lets you know how to actually get the role if you have not already, and I believe it also says it in the rules. So you can check this, hit continue, and then it's gonna bring you to like a mock checkout page because it's free, it doesn't cost you anything, you're able to just blow through that and hit next. And then what you're able to do is go to the events tab here, and pretty much everything will happen in, in this screen, roughly. It'll show both of your check-in options for the tournament and for the match, as well as this little menu down here. And this is also where you can check out all the bracket information. So typically what will happen is, when you do check in with your match, the players will be able to communicate with you through the chat on this website, or a lot of the time, and this is the more common way that I've seen interactions happen, is they will interact with you through the Discord. Most of the Discord channels have a, like a match check-in channel or something along those lines. Uh, uh, find your opponent, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So just keep that in mind that you may have to have the start.gg website open and the Discord channel open. I am fortunate enough to have a separate monitor and typically what I'll do is I'll just have the start.gg on one half and then Discord on the other half and have both of the chat menus open so that I don't accidentally miss a message from my opponent. And this is just what has worked for me for the last couple of tournaments. And that's pretty much it. You've joined a tournament. One thing to keep in mind is that a lot of the players will want to meet up either in their house on Guilty Gear or in some sort Sort of a public room uh, in guilty gear they have a bunch of the public sections and most players will just say ec and the number and that's for east coast and the number so if you play on west coast it will be wc and then a number and then you just need to join that specific room associated with your west coast server or, or your east coast server and the number assigned um, a lot of players will just try to find one of the numbers down in the middle or lower section, that way there's no other players in there. So it's just you two battling. It's a little bit easier and quicker to get into those public rooms rather than somebody else's house uh, because you have to put in more, it saves you a couple of buttons. Now I am going to debut my second ever tournament and this is what my experience was. Oh my God, there's so many people. No way. Oh my God, look at this bracket. Dude. Oh my god. There I am! There I am! Oh my... Dude, there's so many people. What? Projected. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay, I see how it is. I'm gonna get stomped. Oh, there they are. Oh boy. Are you ready? That's my dad. My character's dad. And we both are in all blue. This is perfect. It was meant to be. Duel 
Oh, dude, this is gonna be bad. Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh. Nope. All right. Hold up. Wait a second. What the fuck? <laughs> God. Oh my god. Dude. I almost had. I, I was trying to get my super out, but I didn't have any space. That was rough. Alright, that was round one. Right, we're good, we're good, we're good. It's, be it's first uh, best of five. Yeah, that one is at least better. That one is at least better. Oh my god. There we go. Oh my god. I think I... I think I get that? Yeah, we get around. We get around. Alright, 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 alright. Oh my god. Oh, he's attacking. I think I got that. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so I have to remember to hold. No! Ah! Okay, all right. I still got it. We're still close. We're still close. Oh, my God. God. No. Oh my god. Full block, please! Oh, dude. Ah. Alright, I got a round off him. We're, I'm excited about that. Bro, I cannot put in this. Oh, I have such a hard time putting in some of this sh Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, he wins. Dude, that's crazy. Ah, oh, dude, I got so- I was so close that one round, but... Just couldn't. Just couldn't. Alright, so... Loser of AB. Right here. I go to BR. Dang it! Dude, I got black. <laughs> Dude, I got so black. <laughs> uh. Alright, boys. Time to lose again. Oh, just kidding. 20. Oh, fuck. I didn't realize there were 60 of them. Right, 24. Nice. Okay, cool. I get, I get left side now, too. <clears throat> And they're a Bridget, so I am not exact. I'm not super excited. Duel one. Fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's see if I hit this. Oh. Ow! Oh my god. They threw me? Oh my god, I need to get the wake up. Oh my god, dude. Dual two. Let's rock. Oh my. Oh 
Oh my god, this is so fucking... Okay. The fucking throw is crazy. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Dude, that's crazy! Dude. Oh my... This person is insanely good. Oh my god, I'm still messing up some of my inputs. Oh, that was way too far away. No, please. No. Dude, that attack. Oh my god. So anytime Oh my god. Dude, that is insanely good. Holy Their attack just comes out so much faster than mine. Oh my god. Please. My Dragon Punch, please! Oh my god, dude, this is so fucked up! Dude, I whiffed so hard, man! Uh. That's just... All three, man. That's crazy. God, I fucking suck, dude. That's crazy. Uh! And then, so... I move on to loser of... BR. Winner of BR. Loser of BR. Do I just get blasted? I think that's it. Yeah, I think I'm out. Dang. Yeah, I think it's double a limb. Yep. No, I think I just I think I just full lost. I think it's double E limb. Let me double check. It doesn't say anywhere. It just says bracket types. But it looks to be double E limb. Because I don't see my name anywhere else. Bro. I'm gonna win one of these. I got way closer this time. I actually felt like I had a chance against some of the some of these guys. Which felt cool. Well that was fun. What a blast that was. Honestly, I genuinely had a ton of fun playing in this tournament, even though I got demolished. Looking back on this tournament and uh, just seeing the gameplay from myself, I definitely recognize that I've grown, and that's another thing that I would highly recommend. Just recording your games if you have the capability to do so, because you're going to notice some of the gameplay in a few weeks, looking back on it, just how much you have progressed, hopefully, from that point. I know currently looking back at my gameplay, I can notice a bunch of things that I have improved on since that point. And this tournament happened about three weeks ago so there has been a lot of time that has passed since that tournament the amount of improvement that i have completed i was stuck at floor two or three within the tower at, at the time of the recording of this and i had only just started and i was still using a playstation 4 controller i have since started playing with my leverless controller so if you guys want to see what my experience was i may have a clips channel or something i'm not sure how i want
want to handle that yet. I don't know if I want it on here or not, but I may show more of my unclipped tournament experiences in some fashion somehow. I'm not sure how I would work that out, but if that's something you guys would be interested in, definitely let me know down below. I think that it would be kind of a boon for inspiration for new players to notice like, hey, okay, so other people are here too. It's not just me. I think fighting games, as some of the other previous comments have mentioned, they're one of the types of games that make it the most difficult on you to recognize that uh, you're probably not that good at the game and there's nobody else to blame if you lose and that makes learning the fighting games a little bit more disheartening so just remember to keep your chin up you've got this we're gonna get through and we're gonna get up in those tower rankings together and hopefully i'll see you guys in some future online tournaments look forward to seeing you guys take care